Here we go. This week, advancement opportunities will continue to look good. The CMP wants improvements to NKO and more on energizing the personnel and training systems. First, the Navy is growing its workforce, which means better opportunity for advancement all around. Enlisted sailors can also expect the role of a new detailing system with the goal of better matching sailor skills to fleet billets. It puts sailors in billets where they can excel based on their training and experience. Next, NKO is fast and easy to use. Said no one ever. NKO needs work, and CMP will tell you as much, but now we can expect some improvements. CMP's team is working to improve NKO in two ways faster access, and a more modern design. For a site we all have to use as much as NKO, this is really good news, but the process is just starting, however, so if you have any ideas on how to improve NKO that you want to throw in, send them to us here or just leave a comment. There's actually a lot of tech stuff in this edition. Defense Secretary Ashton Carter is talking about building a social media-like platform to take on the task of job assignments and troop evaluations. Think LinkedIn meets CMS ID, but it's still just in the idea phase. Also, CNO is looking to use more virtual reality simulation technology to train sailors in taking that technology to the waterfront rather than just sending sailors to schoolhouses. And the last thing, heads up, the FY16 Active Duty Senior Chief Board meets Monday, April 20th, so expect to see the quotas posted early next week. For more information, check out this week's wire, but that's it for this video. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC1 Elliot Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.